Hello everyone, welcome to From the Star Wars Home Video Library. I'm your host, Nathan P. Butler, author of A Saga on Home Video, a fan's guide to U.S. Star Wars Home Video releases, which you can find on Amazon, and which will have a second edition coming out, hopefully by the end of this year. This is a special little side episode here, because we're going to take a look here real quick at some bootleg stuff to help you avoid being ripped off. A while back, I did a whole debunking episode on the Complete Saga DVD set that doesn't actually exist. Uh, in 2015, when they did a Complete Saga reissue of the 2011 Complete Saga in new packaging, they again did not release it on DVD the same way they didn't release a DVD version back in 2011. It wasn't publicized very much because all the focus in 2015 tended to be on the digital release and on the steelbooks, so a lot of folks thought, oh, there must be a DVD version out there, and started buying up bootleg versions of that set on DVD, which again does not exist officially. I debunked the hell out of it. What was it called? That's Not a Unicorn or something like that was the episode. I finally, in order to be able to debunk it with pictures in the book, took it off the hands of a friend of mine who is a fellow collector who wound up being suckered by it. This is that. This does not exist officially. This is a bootleg, a DVD set of the 2015 supposed complete saga. You can tell it sometimes by the fact that the back is very dark. If you run the product number, it comes back to a product that is not Star Wars at all. But it looks pretty darn official because it's got an official looking package, right? It seems like it could be, but when you start flipping through it, what you've got are bootleg single layer, so not even as good a quality as the original version, bootleg copies of the discs from the 2001 widescreen release of Phantom Menace, from the 2002 widescreen release of Attack of the Clones, from the 2005 widescreen release of Revenge of the Sith, from the 2006 release of A New Hope, which also means that it, well, the second disc is the one with the supposed unaltered edition. Again, these are not as good as the regular copies, of course, because they are bootlegs. They are single layer, not dual layer. Same thing. For Empire, same thing for Jedi, all sort of crammed into this case here. Uh, with a piece that actually, you know, there is no connectivity for this. This part just kind of comes off and you just lay it back in the packaging. Um, if none of that immediately screamed bootleg, this is something I did feel like in that episode I needed to warn people of because there is no official version of this. This is bullshit. This is a bootleg. Beware. Buyer beware. Typically, if you go and try to find the 2015 version of the Complete Saga on Blu-ray, most of the places you're going to find that from are the legit Blu-rays. But there is no such thing as a legit DVD version of it. So anytime you find something like this that's proclaiming to be a 12-disc DVD set of the Saga episodes 1 through 6, it's bootleg. Doesn't exist officially at all. Now, some of them, more recently, you can find... Uh, you see them all over eBay. They are obviously bootleg. They are hilarious to me. Um, but be warned, buyer beware on these things. Another one? All these are ones I've taken off of friends' hands who got suckered into them so that I could show them in the book, warn you about them on here, and just kind of throw them in a box, basically. Um, here we have Star Wars Season 1 through 8 collection. And yes, there's already ones out there that include uh, Rise of Skywalker calling it Seasons 1 through 9. Okay. Now, this should have been a dead giveaway when you look at the back, and this is supposed to be the first eight films, and it's got friggin' Battlefront 2, Last Jedi, and the Clone Wars film. Those two really don't belong. All they've really done here is they've done a bootleg single disc. Again, you can tell because the labels are shit compared to the regular labels, and they are single-layer DVDs of basically what some regions got as a DVD version of the prequel and original trilogy DVD sets in packaging. Um, we got nothing like this, and yes, the DVD part of it is the ones from 2006 bootlegged into single layer versions, so it's not even the discs that were in those. Same thing here. It's bootleg versions of the original releases. It's not the disc labels that should have appeared in packaging like this in places like the UK or anything. And then they take Force Awakens and Last Jedi and clam it into, a, or cram it, excuse me, I don't know what clamming is, cram it, into a small package with bootlegged versions of both of those, and you got the Force Awakens packaging basically bootlegged there on the reverse of the Last Jedi packaging here. This should not catch anyone by surprise. I could see someone being caught by surprise by that 2015 bootleg set 
that looks like it should have been a DVD version of what only got released in Blu-ray. But Seasons 1 through 8, Battlefront 2 on the back, Clone Wars movie on the back, this should not be tripping anybody up. Uh, this could be a mistake. Not so much with this. Uh, one of the big, uh, most common instances of seeing bootlegs prior to this one for years was the five-star collection of Star Wars, which, again, does not exist. There has never been a five-star release of Star Wars of any kind at all. So whether you see this type here that says five-star collection and boasts all kinds of stuff that in most cases really isn't on there, okay? If you see this five-star collection, I love this one, right? The Empire Strikes Back with Return of the Jedi artwork behind it. Any of these that say five-star collection, gotta be a bootleg. Five-star did not exist for Star Wars releases. No such thing. Whether it's these in gold or there's other ones out there in silver packaging, they're basically just Laserdisc rips of the special edition or Laserdisc rips of the definitive collection thrown in on little uh, single-layer DVDs and pressed out to unsuspecting people out there who are just clamoring for Star Wars DVDs. These, at least, though, for the most part, you would see before 2004 when there weren't official Star Wars DVDs yet. Um, so it was filling a niche. One of the more insidious ones that we've seen lately is one that really kind of irks me because I've tried to do something about it and Amazon basically does not give a shit at this point. You may recall that in 2004 we had this release of the Ewok telemovies. This is the official release of the Ewok telemovies the 20th Century Fox Home Entertainment, and it was kind of asinine because it had Battle for Indoor on one side, Caravan of Courage on the other, of a two-sided, single-layer on each side DVD disc. Kind of ugly looking, right? Now, you could have gotten that in regular packaging or could have got that Club 3-pack with the Droids and Ewoks uh, animated film versions at places like Costco and Sam's Club and stuff like that. Those are the ways to get them, but they soon went out of print. So people were wanting to watch them, and the price for this official release from 2004 started skyrocketing on eBay. Well, what happens anytime there is unmet demand and we have skyrocketing prices? Bootleggers jump in and start doing their best to fill that niche and make some cash off of unsuspecting people who think they're buying legitimate products. We've talked before, and we talked in that last bootleg episode where we talked about this without looking at it. We talked about how you have to be careful on places like Amazon, now places like Walmart, and different websites that allow third parties to sell through their websites because it makes things look legit when they're not necessarily legitimate. Uh, buyer beware. And on Amazon, at least most of the time, it was easy to tell what was coming through Amazon and what was not because it'll say sold and fulfilled by Amazon if it's Amazon's own stock. Or it'll say ships from Amazon, but sold by someone else, if this is an instance of someone having their own stuff held in an Amazon warehouse to be shipped out, but they are a third party seller. Or it'll say ships and sold by somebody else completely, and that's just someone using it as their own storefront, very much like selling something on eBay, right? Well, there tends to be a gray area. Because CreateSpace, which has eventually become Kindle Direct Publishing, is a, an Amazon storefront that allows you to publish stuff. Heck, it's how a saga on home video is out there, okay? You create your own material, you upload it, they do the printing process on demand for you, they do the printing process for books, for DVDs, for whatever, and they push it out. And on Amazon, it shows up as ships and sold by Amazon. Because it is going through the Amazon storefront, it is their printing process, and it is shipping from Amazon. Um, you can't necessarily tell unless you look down to see who the publisher is to figure out whether this is, you know, something that is through CreateSpace slash Kindle Direct Publishing, or this is something through some, you know, just regular Amazon channel. Well, now we're seeing bootleggers using CreateSpace slash Kindle Direct Publishing to push out bootlegs and get away with it. For a while there, people were going, oh my gosh, there's a new release. Holy crap. There's a new release of this. Woohoo! Like, that's, that's something they would have announced. This doesn't smell right to me. Somebody showed me some pictures. I said, you know what? I'm going to grab a copy because I want to be able to investigate this. And I'm pretty sure it's a bootleg. And if so, I want to warn people about it. That's this. Notice the coloration is off. 
and it is slightly differently aligned on top and bottom, like pieces are cut out, right? It's like somebody took the real thing and scanned it and then printed it out at the wrong percentage in order to get this. So the bottom is cut off, okay? The top is closer, it's zoomed in a little bit, the colors are more washed out because they're printed uh, off of a scan rather than the real template here, okay? On the side, because it is cut off on the bottom, it also cuts off Lucasfilm, which is not something you would see happening on a legitimate release. On the back, okay, again, the very bottom little bit is sliced off of there, okay? It also drops the region coding symbol over here because it is not region coded. It's a bootleg from a rip that somebody uploaded to Amazon and then uploaded their own disc and cover art to push out as if it was legit. Okay, so fakey, fakey, fakey cover here. You also know it's not the legit release because the legit release has, you know, a flyer thing, a little insert, and also has the shitty two-sided disc. Instead, the bootleg gives each film a DVD-R, also another way to know it's not legit, single-layer disc, Battle for Indoor and Caravan of Courage, the first one and the second one. And they've just basically taken the cover art from the packaging, slapped different labels on it. Again, in this case, Dolby Digital, DVD, Battle for Indoor, and Caravan of Courage in a really poorly done black fading box over here. Added some legalese, theoretically, which plays into the way that uh, uh, Kindle Direct Publishing and CreateSpace work. And there's your barcode down at the bottom. Okay. This design of the labels and the fact that it's DVD-R give you a dead giveaway that this is something that was print on demand through that Amazon service, which is why Amazon is the one place to be able to find this. Now, fortunately, the proliferation of this bootleg has actually dropped the demand a little bit. It's, it's, so it's dropped or actually increased the supply of bootleg and legitimate, and it's actually brought down the price for the real thing on places like eBay. Now you can get the real deal for kind of a steal compared to what it used to be. But this that looked so legit, unless you really look closely, was being sold on Amazon. So what do I do? Well, you can't report a copyright violation through Amazon unless you are the copyright holder. So if I say, hey, this asshole's selling a bootleg of the legitimate product through your print-on-demand service, you need to stop this, their answer is, pfft. You're not the copyright holder. If you're the copyright holder, you let us know. Otherwise, we're not doing a damn thing about it. So the only other thing you can do is put the fact that it's a bootleg into the reviews of the products. But those reviews get reviewed, and if you put down in the review of the product that it's a bootleg, they will tell you that you are talking about the production process, not the actual content of the program, and therefore, your review cannot be posted. You're warning people it's a bootleg because somebody is breaking the law, and... Amazon is essentially aiding and abetting it by doing nothing about it. And yet that isn't considered appropriate because you're supposed to talk about the content of Caravan of Courage or Battle for Indoor if you're putting any kind of review on their bootleg listing. So be careful when it comes to this. There are legit copies out there. There are bootleg copies out there. If it's two disc, it is bootleg. Single disc, it is legit. I know the single disc with both sides is a pain in the ass and it kind of sucks design-wise. But... The bootleg is the one out there that's not like that. If you want the legit copy, it's this or it's this. Those are your only options at the moment. Um, don't get suckered. You can also look at the bootleg's little UPC symbol here, and it points to the uh, Amazon manufacturing facility in Lexington, Kentucky as well. Yeah, but you can't tell just by looking at the listing on Amazon, so be extremely careful. If you are going to go out and buy this, I would not buy it on Amazon. I'd buy it on eBay, and I'd make sure to see a real picture of the product, both inside and out. Lastly, while we're on the subject of buyer beware for common bootlegs out there, um, another item that, over time, had its demand skyrocket and therefore its price skyrocket was this, right? Now, you may be saying, I know that that's from the Blitz in 2013. It's the uh, uh, Clone Wars Seasons 1-5 through Collector's Edition set. I know that. Is it the DVD or the Blu-ray version? You can't tell, remember, from the packaging of the thing, right? This is the DVD version. The demand for this skyrocketed 
causing the price to go through the roof. Uh, it became much easier to just buy the Seasons 1 through 5 set out of the UK because it was region free if you were buying it on Blu-ray, but DVD, you were left kind of stuck. But you may recall that this is the set that if you open it, you have two different cases for the different seasons, right? To have all your discs in, seasons one and two, and then three, four, five. You had an art book, and you had an episode guide, all included within this complete seasons one through five set. Not the complete series, but seasons one through five collector's edition. Well, what did I say a moment ago? When demand skyrockets, especially for something on DVD, here comes the bootleggers to be able to make good on that, uh, or at least make bad in their case and make good cash on that. We have here an item that fellow collector Matthew Fox ran into on eBay, hoping to be able to get the legitimate thing. Uh, he passed it along to me so that I could warn people about it here on the show. This is what is often being sold now on eBay as if it's the legit version of that. Now you notice here, first off, that it's not all freaky and reflective. Okay, that should be a first clue. Okay, they usually only show the cover with stock images though. Okay, so you have your spine. The spine looks similar, right? Though it does have DVD on it. The other side is no spine because this is a slip cover, right? This packaging was really cool. It was slightly magnetized. You have to fold it open. You pull everything out. There's the ribbon inside it so you can pull it out easily. This instead takes the top of what we saw on the original like cardboard J card, nothing on the bottom, a side that's similar to it but puts DVD on it here, takes the J card's information about the release except slightly tweaked and sticks it on the back, which includes mentioning, by the way, that it has an exclusive 54-page illustrated book, The Art of Star Wars, The Clone Wars, and then puts two large DVD cases and bootlegged into the packaging here. Very well bootlegged, similar look, slightly zoomed in, doesn't look quite as good. The discs, the labels don't look as good. You can tell they're washed out, mass produced from a scan. Okay. The discs themselves are factory produced. There's a factory pressed bootleg, so you can't tell by looking at them. But if you actually put the discs in, all these discs are single layer, not dual layer. Again, another dead giveaway that what you're looking at is a bootleg, but not something you could see necessarily from the outside. Same with the other one. And the discs inside it. But notice, bootleg versions of every disc, bootleg versions of the two... Um, disc packages here, all inside a slip cover. Where's the art book? It says it has it. It's not there. There's also no episode guide either. Okay. So several dead giveaways, but you won't be able to tell just by looking at the front of it unless you know it should be reflective. Okay. The back's going to look a lot like the J card. The top's going to look a lot like the J card. If they show you this side and you see that it looks like this, you know that it's a bootleg. But beware if you're trying to buy this on eBay at this point, because oftentimes you're going to run into this instead and wind up being hooked for a bootleg. If the price is significantly lower than most other copies that are selling of this, chances are what you're going to get is a BS fake bootleg copy of it. Um, again, I try when these come out, like for something big, like with that Complete Saga set that was supposedly a DVD version of 2015 that was a bootleg, uh, from time to time, I will try to just pop on here and give you guys some warning as to what's out there. I think the five stars are a little bit obvious. A lot of the other ones that are out there are kind of obvious because they'll have stuff that doesn't match, kind of like that supposed Seasons 1 through 8 set that has, you know, Battlefront on the back of it and whatnot. But there is a huge market out there for bootlegs. Whether we like it or not, it is out there. Um... And those of us who collect legitimate releases need to be able to know what to avoid to avoid getting scammed or getting taken. Not to mention the fact all those people out there who are more casual people, not necessarily collectors, trying to pick up this stuff and hoping to get a legitimate copy, sometimes not even realizing that what they've bought is a bootleg instead of getting the real quality they should have gotten from the actual product itself had they not bought from an illegitimate seller. So again, beware of things like the supposed five-star collection. Beware of the CreateSpace slash Kindle Direct publishing. Looks like it ships and sold by Amazon. 
bootleg of the Ewok Adventures. Beware of the bootleg of that Seasons 1 through 5 set of Clone Wars. Beware of the idiotically named Season 1 through 8. And as I said in the Unicorn episode, there is no such thing as a DVD version of the complete saga set in the US, so beware of that bootleg as well. Hopefully that helps you as you're trying to hunt down Star Wars home video releases. Uh, as always, the tips would be look for weird things on the packaging, look for substandard packaging artwork and substandard disc artwork, look and see if they're DVD-Rs instead of regular DVDs, though that will not necessarily always tell you because some of these are factory pressed, and make sure you check the size of the content on the discs, because if it is below the standard capacity of 4.7 gigabytes on a standard single layer DVD, or if it is up to that much, what you're looking at there is a single layer bootleg of what is typically a dual layer real release that is above that file size. Um, there are some ways to find these. The best way to sort of check these out and sort of crowdsource these things is, of course, to join the Star Wars Home Video Facebook group uh, run by Justin Berger that I also moderate over there on Facebook. Uh, that'll give you a chance to sort of talk with other collectors and try to spot the inconsistencies that help point these out as bootlegs, as we did initially when originally talking about this one. With that, we'll wrap up this episode. I hope it was helpful. Thank you for watching. I made the force be with the home video viewers.